Hello everyone, I hope you guys are all having a fabulous day. Today is all about jewelry, in specific, my most used jewelry. I get a lot of questions on my videos as to the type of watch that I'm wearing, the type of necklace that I'm wearing, so I thought it would be really fun to be able to do a dedicated video to share those items with you. I took inspiration from Mel Soldera. She made a video like this about a month ago, so I hope that you guys enjoy it. If you do, make sure and give it a thumbs up. I will try my hardest to put as much information as I possibly can in the description box below if you're looking to add any of these items to your personal collection. So without further ado, let's get started, shall we? I'm going to categorize them just because I think it makes it a little bit easier. So let's start off with watches. I do have a watch collection, but I end up gravitating the most towards these three. Uh, the first one is the Michelle Diamond Deco watch. I got this for Christmas a few years back, and um, I believe that this particular size has since been discontinued. I think this is the 38 millimeter. Uh, I will make sure and get the right measurements and put those on the description box below. But it does have the diamond bezel. It is a chronograph, and uh, I am a sucker for chronographs and oversized watches. That's really the type of watch that I end up going uh, towards anytime. Uh, but I think that Michelle watches are amazing quality and um, it's very, it's heavy, you know, it's not like it's, um, it doesn't feel flimsy or anything like that. So if you are in the market for a new watch, I highly, highly recommend uh, Michelle watches in general. They have so many different ones to pick from and you can also interchange, um, the bracelets so that way if you don't want the stainless steel you can go for leather or they also have exotic leathers if that's what you uh, if that's what you want to go for but um, I just really highly recommend uh, the Michelle watches in general so there we go the Diamond Deco uh, chronograph all right uh, the next one uh, it I've had this watch for it feels like a hundred years I know I always say a hundred years but it is a Michael Kors I think it's called a Davenport does it say it back here? No. Uh, I believe it's called the Davenport uh, Chronograph, uh, but I love the fact, again, that it's oversized. It's all in the in the gold tone hardware, and I don't know. I mean, I've had it for so long. I love the way that it ends up pairing with uh, most of my jewelry, so I rock it. I think Michael Kors has awesome watches. I used to have like a whole collection of Michael Kors. I have since uh, sold them all, and I ended up uh, keeping this one, but I love the quality, and they also have great price points. So the Michael Kors Davenport Chronograph. Again, don't quote me on it. I might be giving you guys false information, but I'm pretty sure. I'm like 99.1% sure that it's a Davenport. Uh, all right, and then the last watch is by, uh, it's marked by Marc Jacobs. And again, an oversized boyfriend uh, watch chronograph with the silver tone hardware. Um, and this one, whenever I don't want to wear my Michelle watch since that is, um, since that is in the silver tone, I go for this one. But it's very comfortable and um, yeah. So between Michael Kors, uh, Marc Jacobs, and Michelle Watches, those are the three brands that I always just end up going for. You know what I mean? That's funny, they're all M's too. <laughs> uh, but the Mark by Marc Jacobs chronograph, I think this has, it doesn't have a name on here either, but it has a bunch of numbers that I will put on the description box below. I've had this for, I believe, eight eight or nine years it might be a little bit longer than that um yeah i got it around the same time that i got my michael kors watches so once again there we go all right now on to bracelets i do use two bracelets more than anything the first one is my tiffany and co uh, round tag bracelet this particular bracelet i am not even joking you when i tell you i have had it for 18 years 18 years, nothing has ever happened to it. I have had to get it repaired, not repaired, um, you know, buffed out a few times, but my mom gave me this. It is insanely special to me, um, but I love the, the little sound that the tag makes. You know what I mean? Am I crazy? Are you guys like that too? I think I, I talked about this on my Tiffany & Co. Um, jewelry collection video. But I like that sound. I like that sound. <laughs> uh, but I mean, the the quality of Tiffany and Co. I will always, always be a huge, huge fan of them. Uh, but the round tag, uh, the Return to Tiffany tag uh, bracelet is awesome. I think that they've changed the style too, because every time I've gone back, um, it's a little bit more oval versus being um, versus being round. Uh, all right, and then uh, the other bracelet, this guy, I get a lot, a lot of questions on, um, but it is this beautiful bracelet. It's an adjustable uh, gold bracelet that my brother gave me for my birthday last year, and 
I, I absolutely love it. I love how dainty it is. It's something that it's, it's very different from anything else that I have in my collection, uh, but it does have a bar at the very top and just a very, very slim gold, um, gold chain there. And then this guy is just adjustable. So that way, uh, if you have a, a little bit of a wider wrist or a little bit of a smaller wrist, a wrist, it makes it a lot easier to be able to wear. Uh, but I believe he got this at Benbridge, so I will also put that on the description box below. All right, now let's go on to earrings. I used to wear my Chanel earrings all the time, but it's it's been a minute. <laughs> it's been a minute since I've worn them, uh, but I have been using these to death. These are very, very small, but they're diamond, um, diamond little hoop earrings. They're like that huggy type of earring that ends up just catching your earlobe perfectly. It has three little diamonds on here, and um, Robert actually got these for me. Um, when we first started dating. So I've had them for a long, long time. They're very, very comfortable. And um, yeah, I just figured why not just start rocking these, you know? So they're very cute little, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see them or not, but they're, they're awesome, you know? And I don't like to take them out just because they're so comfortable. Uh, all right, now as far as necklaces go, um, I know that you guys are all familiar with my bar necklace, uh, which is this guy. My parents gave this to me uh, last year for my birthday. It just has a plain gold bar that you can engrave. I have not gotten that done, uh, but it is a very, um, a very, very dainty gold chain. And it is somewhat adjustable, right? No, it's not. I lied. It's not adjustable, but this necklace, oh man, I absolutely love it. I wear it every chance I get. I think I've worn this more than any other piece of jewelry that I have besides my wedding set. Uh, but it's very special to me, and I like the fact that when I'm talking, sometimes, you know, the, the bar ends up moving. So when it catches the light, I really like, I really like that look. Uh, maybe I'm crazy, but um, I'm, a, I'm a really big fan of it. It is very, very beautiful. I think I might get it engraved uh, with my family, with my family name, um, but I haven't decided just yet. Uh, so just a plain uh, gold bar necklace. There we go. Okay. And it's very, very simple. You know, you'll notice that most of these items are very, um, very, very simple. Uh, and then I have, so, <laughs> I have an obnoxious piece of jewelry that I love that I will get into in just a minute. And the other one that I wear all the time is this bad boy. It is a um, gold plated sterling silver um, necklace that has an initial on there and the initial is E and it's in cubic zirconia. Um, I know that you guys have seen this quite often and um, a lot of people ask, what's the E for? E is for Edward and Edward is my dog. As many of you know, he is the apple of my eye, but I did get this a few years back. I think it was at Nordstrom. Uh, but great quality, no tarnish problems or anything like that. And uh, this one is uh, somewhat adjustable, but they always have them. You can even find them at Nordstrom Rack. Um, but um, yeah, I love it. So I wear it all the time because between Edward, my family, um, you, you guys know how I feel about them. So uh, just an E or an initial um, sterling silver, gold plated sterling silver uh, necklace. All right, now for the finale, my rings. Remember how I was talking about that obnoxious ring? Um, it is a cocktail ring, and it is by a company, Swarovski. You guys know Swarovski is one of my all-time favorite, favorite brands because of the just the shine and the sparkle. It is this guy. Check it out. It is like it is huge. Look at this. <laughs> it is so big, but it is awesome. When it catches the light, it just glitters, and the magpie in me just starts screaming up and down. You know what I mean? Um, but in general, when it comes to Swarovski, I think they have incredible, incredible quality. I have never, ever had any issues with tarnish. I've never had any issues with any of the stones falling out or anything like that. I do believe that they have a one-year warranty. If you buy something, if something happens to it, you can send it in. And I think that they end up, um, they end up, uh, what's it called, replacing it. Uh, but again, don't quote me on it. I keep saying don't quote me on the whole video, right? Uh, but this one has, uh, it's a little bit iridescent because it does have a little aurora borealis going on through it. And then the stones up here, uh, they're a little bit different. So they get a little bit darker and then they're a little bit lighter down there. Uh, but it is just, it's my obnoxious party ring. That's what I call it. <laughs> so I love it. 
and I think it's great. Um, I do have a few other Swarovski rings, um, but now I have to start wearing them on my thumb or um, I don't know if I, I'm going to see if I can size them. I don't think so just because they're costume jewelry, but uh, fingers crossed. Uh, okay, and then another ring that I wear all the time is um, another Tiffany piece, and this is the T & Co. 1837, right? 1837 collection, uh, and it's very, very comfortable. I end up wearing it on my index finger, and, um, it, you know, sometimes I like those rings that don't have, that are just, they don't catch on any of your clothing, you know what I mean? Because I do have some shirts that you have a lot, they're, they're woven, or, um, I know that if I have a ring that has those types of prongs, it'll just rip them out. So I really like going for these type, uh, these types of rings. So the Tiffany & Co. 1837. Uh, all right. This guy is just a solid gold band. This actually belonged to my grandmother, so um, I wear it all the time. And I like to mix and match my jewelry, too. Like, if I have a silver watch, I will go for a gold bracelet. I'm all over the place. Very, very rarely do I go kind of matchy-matchy. Uh, but anyways, this is just a gold, um, a gold band that has been passed down uh, from generation to generation in my family. So that's very, very special to me. Uh, another one that I wear all the time is my emerald ring. This was a gift from my parents for my birthday. I think it was probably, mm, I want to say maybe eight years ago. Um, but uh, it has, uh, it's a gold ring and then you have diamonds on either side of the, uh, of the emerald there. And um, I love it. I love the fact that the green really complements the gold. All right, the next one is my Cartier Love Ring. This was a gift from my husband for our 10 year wedding anniversary last year, uh, but I absolutely love it. And uh, I do wear it on my right hand. I have a lot of people ask me, why don't I wear it? Why don't I wear it? I do wear it. I wear it all the time. Uh, but sometimes I like to, uh, you know, to switch out the rings that I wear on my right hand. Sometimes I want to go for the party rings. Sometimes I want to go for something a little bit more understated, what have you. It's all a matter of, you know, whatever I'm, I'm feeling that day. Uh, so the Cartier Love Ring. Okay, and the last ring I have is my wedding set. Uh, for Valentine's Day, my husband actually surprised me by uh, resizing um, and soldering the third band. Because before I had these two bands together, and this one was kind of a Lone Ranger, it was on its own, and it would constantly rotate on my finger. Uh, so the fact that he resized them made me so, so happy because it did get to a point when I could no longer wear them. And, um, you know, I was wearing, <laughs> I was wearing my engagement ring, I was wearing a bunch bunch of other, um, you know, fun pieces of jewelry or even fine jewelry, but I missed, I missed my wedding set. So uh, I'm very happy that I'm able to rock it again. And um, yeah, it came out great. So my, uh, my wedding set. Uh, all right, you guys, so that does it for my most used jewelry. Like I said, these are the pieces that a lot of people, a lot of you guys ask on my videos, you know, what kind of watch, what kind of ring, what kind of that. So hopefully I was able to give you a little bit of information. Um, as you can tell that a lot of these items are very near and dear to my heart and most of them have a story behind them, but um, that's just the type of person that I am. So I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you would like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the red button down below and hitting that bell so you're notified when I upload videos, which is anywhere from two to three times a week. And I will see you guys later. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day.